there. So if you listen real close, then you pick up on what would be a neat thing for you guys to do. Soon. I'm getting pissed off. 
well, okay, well, when Terry gets pissed <laughs> off, things <laughs> change. <laughs> But anyways, I'm not. I'm, it's probably not a major thing. Maybe we could put someone down at the triangle for a little while in case anybody shows up there and redirect them to wherever. We I was thinking of yeah. sign saying "Gone to the Beach." Yeah, <laughs> that's a good one. Yeah, yeah. That's, <laughs> that's effective. But I have a question. Like, it's been like two weeks maybe now that we locked down every day. That's perfect. That was great. But I think we need something new because, like, yeah. as today, that was totally great. They good energy and everything. But in the same time. Like all of those truck, all of those lager was still working. Mm -hmm. So at the same time, it means that we need something new to stop that the work. Yeah. Okay, we were supposed to send reconnaissance out to find out where they're chainsawing. <coughs> I kind of heard where they're chainsawing, and I have serious concerns about going out and stopping them out in the woods. Okay. What about another strategy than stop them? Yeah. Okay. Why don't we teach them like how to play the drum and enjoy what I'm learning? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Have a piece, smoke a piece of pipe with them. Uh, we did about. Something. Did you guys, were you guys around when we did the barbecue yeah, on the beach? Yeah, we did after them ice cream today. Oh, yeah? Yeah, and what the cops and lobby. They were stupid. They thought, I don't know, they might have slipped something in there. I don't know, but they didn't yeah, like we gotta give drugs or something to a yeah, cop. Yeah, right. Okay, so let's, <laughs> it's we're talking like about what we're doing tomorrow. Right. We're talking generally about what we're doing. Can we talk like that? Okay. okay. I'm just wondering that as it gets darker, are we going to end up with a plan of action for tomorrow? Well, if we don't, what I mean, if we, you know, a plan of action. Here's here's a plan of action that we've done before and which is fairly simple and it's very effective. We take all the signs, we go down to Fulford Harbor, we, s we set up along the fence there, people drum and we hold the signs and we clown and stuff and welcome people to the <laughs> island and everything. And it's, it's, and it's cool, it's a lot of fun, it's a lot of profile and everything, that's, that's a plan of action and it's like a quick and dirty one because it's tomorrow. But I think it's an important thing to have when we've got this much energy and we've, got, we've had such a good day, just to sort of let's have a little freewheeling discussion about what are we doing. Yeah. So that can we just, okay. you know? And these, like these days of just holding signs that the ferry used to like rise unity in the camp a lot too. It's like yeah. r rises the moral of the troops a lot more than like locating. It's like less tiring and it's a lot more getting together. Okay. Like but I'd like to swing it around to back to Stephanie's point because she, yeah. I thought it was an important is point that didn't get picked up. It's Stephanie's point mm -hmm. about whether what <laughs> can you re can you reiterate so we can go back there? I just say that it's good to lock down, but in some time we need something new because I think what I need and what I think everybody wants is to stop them, to change them, to change what the, the way they work and everything. We have respect. So in that way, in that my point of view is we have to find something new to surprise them because today that was a great day, yeah, everything, but at the same time they're still working. Yeah. So just to go like a bit farther. Yeah. Yeah. Like step. Yeah. It looks like it, they okay. did have a lot of trouble arresting us all. <laughs> and I know, like, yeah, I don't, I don't, I'm not really it's in not a good position to be arrested right now. But it's just not, I don't mean locking down, but just yeah, like take advantage of the power. Yeah. Well, one of the things we've talked about, one of the things that, 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 that we've talked about. Can I respond about. to that? actually just got new paddy wag stashed on the island at right the police station. For yeah, but it'd be an adventure anyways. They, there's yeah. not enough room in that That'd little jail, so we can all all us ever, all of us are but one of the things that we <laughs> have talked <laughs> about <laughs> is, you is, with is, the RCMP, man? is if we had like a thousand people, even if we had five hundred people, like with with this number and this the turnover here in the last couple of days, like we've got almost eighty percent new people around this in this circle right now, and not that we haven't got other people who are still <coughs> attached and will be back, right? But this whole thing about how do we build this thing, and and how do we keep people, and we're moving into the summer, and so it's like. Uh, if we had like 500 people, we could shut down their operation for a day, two days, three uh, days. If we had a thousand people, yeah. For sure. yeah. But it's like until we have the, those kinds of numbers, it's like we got. I think we. I think what we should be doing is figuring out how to raise the profile to to put more pressure on to put energy into bringing people in.
Everybody's got to be dedicated to uh, us. Have a sense of what kind of response, like, did you know, uh, a lot people of people came here? Just didn't like, were totally unaware, had no idea that it was going on. Mm -hmm. They were like, wow, you're actually taking this step and like using your van to bring people over there. And just, Why not? I don't, a lot of people were totally interested. I'd like to almost bring my van back there. But so yeah, we should bring your day at two. Be dry, so for a day at two. Yeah, like I we went and did a whole thing in Victoria. Like, well, I think there's a legitimate suggestion of going recruiting. One thing that came up today um, while I was waiting to pick up uh, uh, Nathan um, was that. Um, can we, sorry, can we get focus? Terry, don't. That was good. Um, <laughs> One suggestion was that they'd like to have, and I don't know about the, the capabilities of pulling it off tomorrow, is a downtown rally, and that means getting the park, actually booking the park. Um, there's a possibility that we've already got a sound system in there, getting lots of people, musical acts playing, guest speakers, and I think there's a heck of a lot of musical acts right here. There's a heck of a lot of guest speakers right here. You talking downtown Victoria? Downtown okay. Ganges, yes. at least. But the downtown Victoria isn't such yeah. a bad Ganges idea either. Yeah. That's a good idea. Ganges is... We have to get... We well, already have the downtown the Vancouver. Downtown Vancouver, yes. Right there, too. I'll only go there if I have 50 okay, people right. with me. We <laughs> have to <laughs> Can I? And you have to promise to stay with me at all times. <laughs> okay, the reason why it was suggested... <laughs> okay, the reason why it was suggested downtown Victoria... Or downtown Ganges is because, because today there was a moment when we had somebody locked down under the truck, we had us there. The the loggers felt safe enough to try and gas the person out with the exhaust yeah, of the truck. Yeah. Then the cops showed up, and they felt comfortable enough to push us all back, kick off all support, say yeah. that's it. We're, they threatened to use oxyacetylene yeah. torches. And when Gary Holman from the community showed up, our lawyer, John Davies, showed up, Mort Branson showed up, and and Sally and John. I'm I'm sorry. I respect everybody just the way we all look, the way we all talk and all the rest of that. But when it comes to pushing police respect and so on, they are not fully enlightened. <laughs> yeah. And when those few respectable people, and they are respectable, but I am putting it in quotes because I don't really know who's not respectable. But when those few respectable people showed up, the tune totally changed. Yeah. Right off the bat. And this is why the suggestion of doing it in downtown Ganges, which kind of is we're here. It's you, it, it is cheaper as well, which is another good thing, but we're here. You asked us to be here. You asked us. The people of this island asked this camp to be here. And uh, remind people that, okay, you've gone to several rallies and stuff before, and I know you're tired, but this is a rally to remind you to get out to the real rallies. And so that's why it was suggested we were thinking roughly within two weeks' time, which does not address what we're doing tomorrow, but I guess <coughs> what we're doing tomorrow is roughly decided. I think so. However, I think there should be a blanket email go out about what happened today and what could happen tomorrow. Great. And I think some form of redirection should be done from, um, uh, whatchamacallit, the Burgoyne Bay Corner, or the Burgoyne Bay Triangle. And I think there still should be some press contacts to say that, yeah, okay, we're not locking down today. We are celebrating in the corner. It may not be newsworthy, but don't forget us. Okay. So I think those are three things to be done. Okay. Email tonight, redirection from the corner, and, okay. and media. Do you need volunteers? Um, I can pull together the email. Um, does somebody want to continue on with media tomorrow? Who is
was doing it today. Adam was doing it today very well, actually. I'm curious how much media was, media was actually there. There was very little. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, our video camera is not compatible with the, uh, the video system, <coughs> so that we didn't get the video story out. But virtually every radio station had it on there, and we've already done interviews. Oh, sorry, Yuri Kogan, from who, who shoots for both newspapers, was there. And so both uh, Barnacle and Driftwood will have something in it, and we've already done interviews on that. And if you would like to do an interview personally yourself, that's cool too. I'll think about it. Okay. Uh, so, we're still looking for media volunteers. For what? Okay, we're looking for media volunteers for tomorrow of doing just a rally at the corner. What's in, what is that involved exactly? Are you interested? Uh, what it involves is is that we take the media list, which seems to have gone without him wherever he is. Uh, if we can get a hold of him, I mean, I've got a phone number. I can go ahead and try and get a hold of him tonight. He's probably at the White House if he's not at that number. Okay. So maybe I'll stop by the White House on my way back. But it's to take the media list, to continue to call up media, and the suggestion would be, this is what we're doing. It may not be specifically newsworthy, but we are a going concern, and we will be back to at least keep it in the reporters' minds. And um, then... So that's like, you need someone who, right. to get on the phone. Okay. I can totally do that. Okay, okay, good. We've got a volunteer okay. for that. So we've got a volunteer for the call-out. We've got okay. a volunteer for media. Do we have a volunteer for redirection from Burgoyne Bay and how we want to do that? We're going to... We'll, we'll put a... Where are you what are we going to do? Just put a uh, to are people good with the ferry we terminal idea? Yes. Yes. Full fruit ferry terminal? Okay. Well, that ferry terminal okay. is going to just come in. We're, we're just going to go down to the ferry uh, terminal in full fruit and set up signs <coughs> and do a sort of an information <coughs> picket and, and yeah. greet people coming off the ferry. I think it's a really That's great cool. idea to start talking about sure. at the Ganges because I think we yeah. have a lot of support from the public. I mean, I see nothing but positive views from the public. But is that tomorrow? No, I'm talking about just the Okay, so let's just keep it on tomorrow. Um, okay, one of the things so I'm thinking about, the problem with actually the ferry terminal, it's good to having people coming off the ferry terminal, but it's hard for people on their daily run running around to stop in at the ferry terminal because unfortunately we're stuck to cars and it's a bugger to get out of your car there. Whereas at the full for Ganges Isabella Point corner, it's easier, you can stop. A lot of supporters come right down Isabella Point anyhow. A lot of people come down. We could have two groups. We have enough of us. Yeah, we have one thing we could do, one thing you could do is sort of in the morning, in the morning you could go do uh, the um, the beach, and if and when get bored of that sort of by like 12 o'clock, okay, <coughs> most of the people who are coming through have already come through, we're out of here. Can you swim at the beach? Yeah, you can swim at the beach, but yeah, I mean, it, it's very, it's that cold. That's cool. So, <laughs> hey, can you swim with the beach? I haven't seen anybody harassed or arrested. I saw Terry there. <laughs> <laughs> Look, not much of me. <laughs> not much of me. <laughs> so, yeah, you can swim at the beach. It's a long, flat, muddy beach, and I don't know when the tide's up. But. So, so we've got a suggestion of going to the beach first thing tomorrow morning, and then redirecting to... Fulford. I mean, I was talking to some people who wanted to show up and so on, and their point is, is well, we don't know if and when things are happening. So the email will redirect them, but uh, how are we going to redirect them and redirect them to where? I think we need a phone list of everybody who says stuff like that. Okay. There's roughly about 80 or 90 people, uh, and, and doing it on a payphone is a little difficult. You're upstaging me. <laughs> <laughs> I only let well, you. So, um, so, it's, um, so what, what's the question? What are we trying the to The question is, here? is how are we going to get the public who thinks we're going to be at Burgoyne Bay Triangle to where we're going to be? Well, okay. Mike, but maybe we, we Which go, beach? There's lots of beaches in the island. Maybe we should go to the beach in the afternoon. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Like, like, yeah. Okay. Like, 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 like,
Okay, my, my problem with going to the beach in the afternoon is that you'd be going to the ferry terminal first thing in the morning, and it's hard for the, the status quo public to get in there. It's, it's, a, it's a tight and uncomfortable space. Well, the, why don't we go in front of Bullford Inn in the morning, and then to Ganges in the afternoon? Like do both. Or like the other way around. Like or just two always groups. There two groups. Yeah, yeah, two groups all day. We're not okay. really big enough to do two groups. Oh, we're we? big. I think we're all I here. Can, like, like, so what's the count one, here? Like, my van load would be 20 people at one spot. Somewhere else. 19 people at Ganges. I don't know. I don't really like the idea of splitting up the group. I'm not really saying that. Because, I mean, part of the thing is it's 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 a focused time when we're all together in the same place, so we'll be talking and stuff about stuff. And so it's like having. Yeah. Would we be able to go. It's not like it's an urgent action. Would we be able to go to both places in one day? Like, yeah, just a different Like, round up, like, we could make more. But if I'm just thinking that we're making it hard on ourselves. Like, more publicity for. Like this camp, like if we yeah. seem to like want to get more people, but I know it's like a long ways away. But it, I think if no. we make the effort, the, the effort will come back to us. But and also if we're like in a large group, I think like people would feel more compelled if it was a larger group than like just a couple people, because like I some people are intimidated by like you know not very many people, but then. When a lot of people are together, it's easier to join the group. Yeah, I agree. Or just go do one spot tomorrow and then do one spot the next day. Yeah, if you can speak, sir. I'm not sharing. It might look that way. <laughs> oh, well, she can't see you raising your hand. Uh, I can, my opinion on that is we're a big enough group, in my opinion, to create two very efficient groups and be at two places at the same time so we're more efficient. And then gather together at lunch, and then switch the groups and that's the other activity. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. we were like half that people two weeks ago. So we were efficient. Yeah, I don't. I, I I I still like the idea because one thing that I've noticed is that unless we've got a, lo uh, a logging truck pinned down to maintain our focus, mm -hmm. the groups rapidly get smaller. Mm -hmm. Think back. People like to scatter. Admit it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and so, much as we look like two groups here, divide this group in half, because other than the folks who make it down, and then if someone goes for a smoke, someone makes a call, someone, and then you've got a group about that big in one spot. And that's what happened on Thursday, was it not? But I Thursday it got real small, real fast at the Bridgewine Bay Triangle. And that's why I'm thinking, well, we can't exactly maintain masses through coercion. Let's at least start with a large mass. But that's and what that's I was thinking of two smaller groups, so that it's easier, first of all, to see where everybody is. And it's more easy to communicate within each other. So the group feels like staying more together since there are less people. They don't want to abandon the little group. Compared to the big group thinking, oh, well, there's still a lot of people, so yeah, we can go. Yeah, because there's about 30 people here, you can have about 15. If everybody per, per here group. tonight is ready to create a group and split it in two and to be there, then we can do it. If, if not everybody here that is here who wants to do it, then no. And each group would have to have the same responsibility. It's a lot it's faster to go get smokes when you're already close to town, though. Yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe we should have a vote for who wants to have two groups and who wants to have just one collective and if it's one collective one side where that one spot is and if well, it's two groups I'll, the other. I'll, I'll speak to that in just a moment. Do you want to say something? Um, in the Borgen and Bay Triangle, are we allowed back on the z gazebo or are we still kicked off to no. say that? No. I think that's weird because I heard it was a gift to the community. And yeah. we are We've part been of the community. So I think somebody should do an article about that. But it's I think yeah. we are yeah. doing an article about yeah. that. And, I think no, we're and a big picture of it. Like, it's just such a piss off. They don't yeah, for yeah, now we're exactly. saying we can Okay. There is a little bit of a say that because we're there. Okay. Can we, can we quickly speak, though? Somebody suggested a vote on this, and I think a vote might seal it up quickly. But, um. Can you talk about it? Yeah. 
I think at this point in time, it might be a good time to practice consensus. Yeah, when, when it's not consequential. <laughs> when, yeah. when we're not about to, you know, when they're not barreling down on us and, you know, threatening pepper spray, man, that might be a good time to practice consensus. A good thing for consensus, though, is to get an idea of where people are at. So sometimes a vote just to see where people are swayed to can help you build consensus. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, do we want to go that way? Just a non action. Non yeah, let's have a little vote. vote. Sorry, Terry. Let's have a little let's vote. Because this isn't, vote. we shouldn't be spending this much energy on this, really. I don't know if anybody else feels that way. Vote. Well, let's just have a little quick vote. It's not a binding vote. Well, every, everyone's agreeing with just like we're rising no, awareness tomorrow. That's what we're, we're doing. Agreeing. Picketing. We're not, agree. we're not, a, not, not everyone's <laughs> agreeing on that. No. Who has another yeah. suggestion to do that? No, it's well, whether right two, two groups, groups or one group. Yeah, that's the, that's the only that's point we're arguing. One group, yeah. guys, one put up your hand okay. if you just want to have one huge, humongous okay. group and we're all like, do whatever strategy one, you want. One huge group? One huge group. One huge group. Okay, what do we think of two groups? Oh, yeah. Two groups. Two groups. Okay, so I'm group Okay, um... So what about the well, I, 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 I could, I could roll over and say, yeah, go ahead with that, but I'm still very strongly feeling that there's a lot of followers out there in the community, and it's hard to follow 15 people. I'm sorry, yeah, 15 but this people. is a small place, like, people know each other here, it's really cool if, like, you see somebody you know, they don't know you. They, they don't know you. Time. Well, we they just get half the people they know. They tell you. And it appears as if it's a bunch of people that they only momentarily have met just recently. And that's why I'm thinking a big splash is sort of a, hey, things are happening in my community, really happening. There's 15 people gathered together in little clutches all over the place, all over the time. Just because they're banging drums and showing signs it doesn't necessarily put it over the top. The fact that they're 30 people gets close to it. 60 people, people will stop the car. Sorry, so I can hear you. We have two signs and people hung their horns and they look at them and yeah. they smile at us and they tell us that, people are yeah, go ahead. Yeah, like they see the message and there's two signs. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'd like them to stop. I'd like them to stop. Well, the nice people will stop, you know. That's what I'm hoping. I want them to stop. But, but Terry, I think that if we can get this over with, right? Okay. I, I agree with Joel that your idea about doing something in Ganges is a good idea. Totally. All right. like, but so, it's not something you do okay. overnight. So let's 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 roll this one through <laughs> and say, cool. Cool, we'll do. Okay. Okay, so... Yes. What? So, why don't yeah, we run it organically? Yeah. Split the, the two groups. Whichever one group. seems to be going along the oh, best. <laughs> Great. The third option. You got both of okay, them. Okay, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm willing to consent to that with one last suggestion. Start with two groups. <laughs> and whichever one seems to be feeling the best and going the best, if you end up clumping up to one group, fine. Well, we could have, like, Does that half the day with okay, one group. Okay, vote for that. Let's group. not get exhausted okay. over this. Good. Yeah, so I'm just seeing if we've got consensus on that. Start with two groups. If it feels like one group is getting a better response and, and things want to kind of head in that direction, then I'll let it go. Yeah. We'll decide. You have we'll letters back and forth. Yeah. You're not that far away. We'll figure it out. We will. Okay. Yeah, we so where are we going in the morning? Where are we going in the morning? And then the, the ferry to two groups? Yeah, two groups. Two groups, two groups in the morning. We'll so the one in Ganges Park one and the other one. Like two groups of protesters. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, one in Ganges and one in Fulford. Okay. okay. Yeah. So let's... Okay. Where are Ganges Park? Going? One in what? Ganges Park. Ganges Park? Well, well, where do you want to be in Ganges? Oh, I thought we were going to do the no, beach. No, 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 no. That's, that's, do that's the like beach. two weeks where we're yeah. planning to do like a mass like... Yeah, that's like two no, weeks we're talking later. Where, where are we Ganges? 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 No, Ganges is not suggestion. We're talking about Fulford Inn and Fulford Ferry. Fulford Inn and Fulford Ferry. Fulford Inn and not Fulford Ferry. Oh. Ganges wasn't Fulford. a suggestion. No, no. Yeah. yeah. So you guys are talking about two, uh, one group in Ganges and one in Fulford I was thinking one group at Fulford Inn. Oh, you want one at Fulford Ferry and one at Fulford Inn. Yeah, that makes yeah. sense. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, yeah. There shouldn't be a big problem then, because two places are only like They're five so minutes apart from each other, and yeah. we you are pretty walk much. From one place you could like to all across together. the together. hand signals. We are okay, going to be good. there all day. Yeah. Yeah. So that's yeah. what we're doing tomorrow. Yeah. I'm taking care of the phone around, or uh, no, no time for phone around, email around, and someone's oh. taking care of media, and someone's taking care of someone is going to take care of redirecting from Burgoyne Bay via signs or whatever it is. Haha, <laughs> if we had sign making material. Mm. 
Well, yeah, we can do at the beach. The we can have yeah. a little tea fire at the beach with a big sign yeah. for anybody to drive by if they're interested. With like yeah. all our little pictures and our little gadgets that have all the information about uh, what's yeah. going on and people have. You know what we could get some happening is some major tea, sign you know? making if we had some sign making. Material. Yeah, we can yeah. do that on the beach major tomorrow. Sign making. We can spread the word while we're on the beach yeah. tomorrow. People go and gather material, and while we're on the beach, we paint we can, signs yes. right on the beach. Yeah. And there'll be the action yeah. on the beach, and we have one action in Fulford, just yeah. showing people. What's going on? Coming off the ferry, kind of pointing them, and they'll be driving by the beach and seeing all these crazy. Okay, so I can see it now. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah. It sounds good. Yeah. This is it. No, sounds this good. Is cool. I am bringing a concern from the community, saying if we show up at full, uh, 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 at Burgoyne Bay, there's going to be nobody there because it's happened before. But I, Terry, I Terry, we put a sign up there. Okay, so you will have a sign up there. But we don't have any sign making material. So we solve can't. it, and I'm not your Excuse me. Excuse me. We don't have any sign making materials here. Why, why, why don't you and you're the one who's from the community, so go for it. And I've been saying this. Well, we don't have any sign making materials. Go get paint and call Melanie. Tonight? To Melanie's tonight? not or around. No, I'm not a funny. Mel <laughs> no, this is just bullshit. Suzanne, tomorrow morning we can ask Melanie. Melanie, Melanie is in the Stoltman. Melanie is in the Stoltman. I'm not in charge of money. I know who's in charge of the Okay, everybody here. I, I have paint in my house. He's having so a marker. So it's alright. Oh my god, we're dying. There's a seven Ravens yeah. farm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. There's, uh, do you have any pieces of wood kicking around there? Yeah, we have like. Yeah, how wood. What's all you need? Just, even if it was just sections of. Do you know the to nailed together to, yeah, to a make a sign? We just use the outside of one of yeah. the signs. Okay, so sign making material looks like it's being taken care of and the person driving the vehicle. So good, now sign making material is being taken care of, so somebody will make a sign and stick it, stick it up in Brickline Bay, right? Yeah, sure. Do we okay. still get a can van to get people down tomorrow? What? Yeah. Where's the van? Paula said yeah, the van. people down. The camp van. We'll come up and pick people to go down. Yeah. JP is getting fairly tired of doing this, and he's looking for somebody with a license to take over for tomorrow. I can get a license. I've never had a license. But well, that's 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 tomorrow that's was not the time that, that you can get a license. Suzanne has a license. Yeah? If you would but like I'm to drive kind of to draw in the wood, but I can do it too. Right on. Okay. I can drive without a license like to take all responsibility. <laughs> <laughs> no, because then the van gets impounded. Jonathan, have you got a license? Yeah. Oh God. Also, it's, uh, I mean, if anything happens, I'm responsible. <laughs> right. So, if anything happens, so you you are considering driving the van tomorrow. If JP came up here to pick you guys up and so on, would you be able to take over driving the van for the day? You would like to do it? Would you like to do it? Can you do it, Simon? No, it's well, Who has a license? I'm not. I can do it. Okay, so it'll be a slow yeah. ride. <laughs> slow ride? This is a good ride. That's, okay. That's a good ride. That's good. That's a good That's ride. Good. All right. I don't mind that okay. at all. So, okay. I don't like people to ride. Does this mean that we have the homework done up enough that we can move on to the potential yeah. in, in, in long term a uh, rally in Ganges? Well, can we separate the groups, the groups first? I have another thing to I think tomorrow the group yeah, gets separated yeah, organically. Yeah. You know, yeah. this is something small, but I can get a band of just like musical people together and play. Yeah, is this tomorrow? That's huge. Not tomorrow, but I'm talking okay. about uh, yeah, at the Ganges. Good. Okay, so I can update um, Linda of uh, Linda and Bill of uh, uh, Island Soapworks, um, Salt Spring Island Soaps, was suggesting that she really wanted to have a rally to, 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 to demonstrate not just let's raise money for it, but let's, as a community, oppose these people. Oppose, well, not so much these people, oppose what's happening. Save our force. Right. And and she wanted to have a rally because people are downright afraid. There is a rumor going on out there that the police are ready to just make a mass arrest of anyone. And there's a lot of people in the community who don't have the guts to do what we're doing yet. Yeah? Well, I was just wondering if there's any way we could like, plant seeds on uh, the level. Yes, yes, yes. And we've that talked needs about a very this. good media splash. We've talked about this idea about um, moving the camp up into a clear cut. It's been suggested by a couple of different people. This idea of moving the camp into a clear cut and planting, like reforesting properly, and and fundraising to raise money to buy the proper varieties of trees and ground cover, and so that we're we're still doing the the blockading and stuff, but we're also doing something proactive and a little more in their face because it's right on Texada land. 
I like it. I really like it. Well, the thing is, what we would need to do is get people in to, uh, to do, um, you know, workshops with us about it. Well, I'll, I'll come and do a workshop because that's, really? my, that's my life. Right? That's what I do. So. That is, do you think that's a neat idea? Yeah. I think, I it's, think it's a, a really, it, it would be really good for, for um, we have to move the camp I, I, I anyways, think maybe right? where, where you <laughs> do your <laughs> camp, you do a plant all the way around there. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't go and plant everywhere because they may come through and rip it all out. Well, whatever, so. it, w I, it would be within the context of a really, really well publicized cam campaign, right? Like we're now, we're, we're getting to the point where we're going to have like, we've got national and international media. And it's like we do this in a very, um, you know, planned way so that there's a lot of attention on it. We're raising money for the trees and we're raising money to reclaim the earth. And what we're doing here is reclaiming the earth. And that, that kind of a context for it. I want to thank you all yeah. for, for doing what you're doing. Thank you all. I live in this community and, you know, it's, uh, I'm doing what I can on another level, but this is amazing because you guys are really the ones who are uh, doing more work than anybody else in a way because you've got the, you're right there, you're swapping it, and that's what's really needed more than anything else. I mean, everyone in the community is doing stuff too, or lots of people are in their own ways, and it'll all come together in the end. Yeah. But, but you guys are really bringing all the attention to it, and that's what's really needed. Yeah. We, need well, we, really we need really need more numbers. Yeah. We need more numbers because we were so close to getting beaten up so many times today. And oh. it's like, oh. it's, it's like, nice. it's like, it, I know, but I don't, it, we have had this debate off and on, right? Like, it's stupid for us to put ourselves in situations where we're going to get hurt. That's, it's not necessary. It's not necessary if we have the numbers. We can do this in an intelligent way and in a nonviolent way. Yes. You know? And that means non-violent in terms of not putting ourselves in the, in the path of violence if it's not absolutely necessary. Thank you for your support. It's very important to us. Without support, we're not anything you know. Community is very supportive. Okay, so then... Uh, Sammy, is anybody doing reconnaissance tomorrow? Well, that's the other thing of... Um, if somebody wanted to do reconnaissance... I'm sorry, I was supposed to get to maps today, and I haven't got to maps today. I'd like to look uh, I wasn't even thinking of those maps, but those would be good maps. Um, I was thinking just an overall map of an area until people simply went out, gave a rough mark of where the he where the heck the action sound is coming from. Then we would get more detailed maps and and pinpoint exactly what's going on. Um, the reconnaissance that I got today, just from listening says that the only action I'm really hearing is on that road going up the side of Mount Bruce. It doesn't sound like they're going to be facing shutdown, forest fire shutdown, in a couple of weeks. And the only action that say they seem to want to do is improve their haul-out capability in, in, a, in a way that gets them away from the public road. Okay? And so that's where my blockade of tension is. But I was just wondering whether there still is a in Ganges full-size rally interest that, yes, there was that discussion of the camp, and I think that should be... Yeah, it's, a, it's an ongoing... That's, that's an ongoing thing. We yeah. should really have serious circles to work out yeah. some of the serious ticks to it. There's, there's a lot of serious ticks to it, but I think that's a really actually a great that's idea. That's the first Moving step the in order to take, like, right. a bigger... Yeah. Yeah, I like, think that's a really good idea, too. Yeah. I can kind of fill in where... Where, where the possibilities are in terms of holding a downtown rally. Virtually, I thought all the musical groups have been burnt out from all of these the benefits. Uh, benefits and benefits yeah. and more benefits and then had some benefits for the benefits. And, um, and it turns out I'm wrong. Um, that uh, uh, Tom Hooper and, and, 
and, and the list goes on, and even you probably be able to put some people together as well, and so on. I could play myself. Yeah, we could. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I could make the but play myself. But it's almost like we can, Terry, if I could interrupt you, sorry. Uh, it's almost like we can sort of agree, uh, uh, we maybe might be able to agree that this is a good thing to do, and then maybe we could get a, a working group to come back to the circle with, with some things. Like could Okay. We, I can kind of put out what's sort of already offered and what it's sort of necessarily needed and see if that rings anybody's bells. Sorry? What is already offered is we should be able to get the gazebo with its power system in Ganges. Okay? That should be no problem to get. Number two, it seems that we'll have bands out the wazoo. Number three, we should have guest speakers because it's kind of hard to stop people from doing that. Keynote speakers. <laughs> Four, there's a suggestion already that there is a sound system for free and set up. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Okay. So that there's already a name on that one. Five, there's already somebody with an office with five computers who wants to be able to do all of the pamphlets, brochuring, all the promo yeah. that way. Okay, uh, now is the idea here to yes. sort of uh, like calm people about what the camp is? No. Okay, what is it? Sort of the idea was is say, hey, this is what the camp is. Get out there and support it on the line with your bodies. Okay. And the second part of it we were thinking is, is we're all getting ourselves into a pot of legal hot water and nobody's paying our lawyer. We'd like someone to pay our lawyer. Okay, <laughs> okay, let's back up a bit on it though, because if, so if you're talking about a fundraiser, right? You're talking about fundraising for the camp? I was actually thinking if we could fundraise for the camp or we could fundraise for the lawyer, and there's no decisions been made yet on it. Okay. If it's going to be for the camp, I'm just going to say that I think the camp has to be the one that's deciding and, and determining what's going on, right? Mm -hmm. Because this, what we've had so far is not at all ideal in terms of fully involving people in all the decision-making mm -hmm. processes, right? And then the other piece of it is that I think it should be very clear if that it's not, um, that this is, I think, you know, needs to be talked about what needs to be done about the lawyer's fees, right? What I'd be interested in putting my energy into, and I'm not saying I wouldn't support this, but I would be interested, because we've talked about it a lot, is doing a benefit for the camp. Because there has to be some recognition here that the camp needs a steady, steady, dependable flow of resources. And that th this is just exhausting, the way it's working right now. Uh, but the other thing is, is this is another thing that's going to get planned that's supposed to come back at, to us in some way without our full, like, total involvement, then it becomes another energy drain. The reason, so. the reason why we were really thinking for a lawyer is because if you have a benefit and you raise, sets, let's say you go right to the absolute nines and you do something like a wood stop that we did before, I'll go right to the nines and we get, like, you know, bands from 1 o'clock in the afternoon to 1 o'clock at night. Which raised money for the Conservancy, right? Right, right. It right. only raised like $4,000. If that went towards a lawyer, poof, it's gone so quick, it'd make your head spin. However, if we did a rally and we passed a hat for a lawyer, we wouldn't get that much for a lawyer, but the point is, yeah. it's publicity. And where you get the real money for law is those big, quiet donations. Mm -hmm. yeah. and so that's why this like would be more appropriate for the lawyer, whereas a real, actual, honest-to-God benefit might be more appropriate for the camp. Yeah, Yeah, private donations are, are a big part yeah. in like a lot of the fundraising that goes on and a lot of fundraisers. And I have to just yeah. come along. He's also talked to the Green Party about, uh, you know, yeah, we have. being non-private, yeah. Well, we can have a couple days. people sitting at the ferry or something every day. Sign that yes, says, so you donate to the peace camp. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and Saturday <laughs> market. Saturday yeah, market, a booth can be set up. Yeah, I think it's a brilliant idea. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, if you've got people down there every day, we make lots of money. If, if somebody, yeah. <laughs> if somebody <laughs> is interested, <laughs> if somebody <laughs> is interested in, if well, somebody we is interested, have lots of money this Okay. Week. When you say, this is a sad fact, but when the, the Conservancy, because we're talking about getting money together here, so we're going to go with those who have been fairly successful with it and just see some of the stuff they did. The Conservancy is getting money together, or getting their stuff together to raise money. They put together something called a prospectus. And it's, you know, booklet about that thick and so on. And It was put forward in front of a whole bunch of educated people, and they looked at it and they said, wow, this is really good. It's really nicely laid out. You really know what you're doing. This is really impressive. These are all very educated. Well, and they just looked at it. They didn't read anything in it. 
a lot of them had input on it and so on. And just the nice way that it was laid out, everybody was impressed with it, and it's got a lot of money. Of course, inside of it were a, a few very serious mistakes that hadn't been researched. And so the point being is that if we're having somebody with a sign down there, sick as it may sound, even if it's not pamphlets to hand out, if it's well laid out material, even if it's like a placard, so that we're not saving the world with paper, <laughs> but even if it's a placard that says, this is the information, this is what it's about, we're well organized, we're smart enough to run out a computer to do this layout. <laughs> Sad as it may sound, in my opinion, it works. Yeah, but, <laughs> but I still think we really have to continue thinking about how to how to really broaden it out. Like it's like we're gonna so we're talking about what we're gonna do tomorrow. We're gonna make some signs. We're gonna do this and that. I think we have to be always thinking about how we're gonna just put the word out, not just to Vancouver. Everybody's got families. We've had people here from all across the country and from Alaska and from places in the states. You know that people have got to be thinking about putting the word out that way and we've got to be, think more in terms of how we connect what we're doing like with the sign making having some proper good sign making material having a day when we focus on that but having that fit within a in a plan okay there's one possibility that would get international attention and that's as if we held a ruckus training camp and a ruckus training camp is a week long training process where people come trucking in from all over this camp, all over the place. This camp space here would not be big enough for it. They set up towers to learn and they, they teach everything right from the get-go of running a meeting like this to media, to legal, to all the rest of it. It's the stuff that we've been doing and we could learn a lot. I could learn a lot. I've never been to one. I'd love to go to one. So like protesting school? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is like that. But what's ruckus is schedule like this summer and how like possibly not ruckus. There if we can't do ruckus, we can at least do something fairly similar ruckus with the uh, um, the fan and the uh, uh, path folks. And admittedly they may be tied up in the Ilaho but Ruckus had directed us to a lot of excess trainers uh -huh. for this winter. We just did a one weekend, and it was too short. One weekend was entirely too short. It was just, it was crammed, it was stressed. I mean, we, we tried to do consensus, learning how to do consensus in a two-hour workshop. Right. And it was not going to happen. Sorry. So that's the other possibility of getting it out, is to do a well-publicized training things and that gets it out to all the other organizations out there and they spread it through their network that we're holding a free workshop here to come to this. I'm getting confused because we're a little scattered, right? We're talking about doing a thing in Ganges. But then people say people keep saying they want to go international. Okay, I'm responding to the international. No, 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 no. Okay, I okay, I'm just back to the thing in Ganges. Well, I think it's all part of the same thing. It's all part of the same thing. But it's like, if we're talking, we, we got to build up the numbers here. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. we got to figure out what we're doing tomorrow. Then we got to figure out, I, I want to talk to you before you go. <laughs> we got to get, okay. So, I'm going to leave. <laughs> I think, we should, I think we should put together a little working group to work on the Ganges idea. And then I think we should hold a formal circle, because we've got our visitors leaving here. We gotta hold a formal circle and tell, Actually, it, tell everybody like our first pet stories. I've Can we have like a circle? To close out with a circle? Yeah, let's close out with a circle. Around this peace symbol, if we can. Because um, I'd like to leave as soon as I can so I can actually get an email out to people in time for them to see it. Okay. But actually, we're... But what about the security, the security in the camp? Nobody was there today. Who was here today? Well, I yeah, think that's a significant thing that you guys should look at. I'm not available for it. I need I'm going to work tomorrow. Talk about yeah. that. I woke up at like 11 and the only guy who was in camp wasn't from camp. He was like the guy who camps by Spirit Lake. He was alone in the camp when I woke up. So I was like... Then you guys should talk about that and carry on the discussion. I've got to go to get the email out. I'm going to get the email out. Do you know if... I can sell my jewelry at the Ganges. Do you think it would be a possibility Ganges that I could sell my jewelry there? Not at the market, but if we have some sort of gathering there. That's possible. Uh, 
<laughs> See the wave. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I'm off the ground. Okay, I'm gonna have to head out here. Bye, Terry. Thank you, Terry. Thank you, Terry. Have fun working <laughs> tomorrow. Uh, have fun tomorrow. Oh, okay. Yeah, you broke my leg. Oh, oh I'll have to carry you to the hospital. Hey, Nathan. Thank <laughs> you.